here we are standing in the Legends Lounge, looking out onto the pitch at Selhurst Park. Porky Parry uh, is standing about a hundred yards away from me. I'm not quite sure what he's doing. Uh, he seems to be out on the balcony. Porky, what, very good morning to you. What on earth are you doing? Yeah, good morning, Mike, and good morning to all our listeners. Well, you know what? I have a fascination for football grounds. They are cathedrals. A cathedral is somewhere that is special to you, and it's special to the Palace fans. Is that why and you're I'm, down on your knees? And I'm, I'm not down on my knees, no. I might be down on my knees later when, uh, when Everton <laughs> get here. But, you will uh, be, yeah. Some people Particularly course, after lunch, I would imagine. Some people, of course, cruelly say they can never tell whether I'm on my knees or standing up. That's, but that's very a, true. That's a, a cruel job. Yeah, a lot of them have been commenting on your bald patch uh, as well, uh, since that picture uh, went out just before the show. Well, that's only because of the sun, because yeah. I was just about to tell you, I'm looking down now on the pitch uh, at Magnificent Selhurst Park, yes. and it's, a, it's, a, it's the most beautiful setting, because it's a, it's a, it's a powder blue sky, yeah. but a very, very bright sun, which is shining down on the pitch. The pitch this morning, right, yeah. when uh, yeah. the groundsman arrived at sort of 6 a.m., was minus 8. What incredible. about that? Absolutely incredible. And, uh, well, it's and, warmed up to about minus 2 now, isn't it? Uh, well, the outside temperature's right. minus 2, but the guys here who look after the pitch, have got it up to, it's going to be 12 degrees when the teams come out at 3 o'clock mm. to start the game. So they, they really have weaved a lot of magic. And we're going to talk to uh, one of the groundsmen about how he's done that a bit later in the show. But it yes. looks magnificent, as these grounds always do, mm. before uh, the fans arrive. And uh, we're what is that you're holding over your eyes, by the way? Well, to be honest, right. it's, it's just an ordinary newspaper because it's so bright That's out an here. ordinary newspaper. Yeah, it's so bright out here that uh, unless, without my newspaper visa across the top of my head. Visor. Uh, uh, visor, that's right. I wouldn't be able to actually relay to you yeah. the, the colourful Are you going to do the location. whole show from over there? No, I'm not. Like no, it. no, no. I can see the back of your head, which is a much better thing than looking at the front of your face. No, no, I'm coming back in in a minute because, I, I mean, what I... How what disappointing. One of the strong points of my profession, mate, is uh, weaving colour with words. Is that right? And uh, I do it at Chelsea. Shame you haven't done that with a shirt. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to get into that. You look like a bit of a tramp today. Actually. I was very disappointed well, with the I coat you wore find, to get it. I think you'll find. Was what, that you mean my scruffy, barber? That scruffy old Parker that it's you had a, on. No, it's a barber. barber. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. No, I mean, people have uh, remarked, yeah. funnily enough, because quite a few pictures have been put out on Twitter already, at the two mics, yes. at Mike Parry 8, yes. at uh, I-R-O-M-G, yes. uh, that you look like a bit of a tramp, uh, and I look very <laughs> nice in my uh, suit and tie. Yeah, you're looking like a tramp. Yeah. You're, you're off your rocker. Shocking. What a game it's going to be today, because, of course, as you quite rightly say, Everton come here on the back of a mm. magnificent victory against Manchester incredible. City. Absolutely incredible. 4-0. They're going to be right up for it. Where but do they travel well, is the question. Well, um, they don't, they, we had a run of four games when we got defeated mm. uh, away from home each time, so that wasn't good. But I think the great... Uh, anticipation for the Everton fans today is to look at the starting lineup. Yeah. Because so many of our young players excelled in the last game against Manchester they did. City. The young uh, Mike Perry lookalike. Uh, uh, who's that? Oh, oh, you miss, miss Tom Davis. Oh, yeah, Tom Davis. Not a Mike Perry lookalike. Because he looks exactly like you did when and, you were uh, romancing people at the Nottingham College. Which is Poly. quite interesting. And, and of course, uh, young Lookman, who was 19, who scored a goal, you know, the minute he came on yeah. in the 90s. So I think it'll be very interesting to find out whether they start today or not. I mean, Lookman, I suppose, could be one of these great power subs at his age. You know, he could come on and and do things. And he knows this part of the world, doesn't he? Because he came from Charlton. Uh, yeah. That's right, absolutely, yeah, yeah, 19. But I tell you, the other interesting thing is, you just mentioned Tom Davis. Yeah. His uncle is Alan Whittle. Yes. Now, Alan Whittle was a member of Everton's 1970 championship mm. winning team. And when Alan Whittle left Everton, yeah. he came to... Crystal Palace. Did he? Yeah. So, so he's played for both so clubs as well. So it's a big well. circle. And Big Sam, of so, course, uh, has yeah. got a reasonable record against Everton, hasn't he? Uh, big Sam's got a reasonable record against everybody. Yeah. And, uh, you know, uh, the, my greatest fear today is at the moment uh, it's been a difficult settling in period. Yeah. As you could imagine, you yeah. come into a, a situation that's been slipping. And I just hope he doesn't kick start it into gear today against well, Everton. Well, he may do because they're off the back of that FA Cup win during the week. Yeah. You know, where uh, the Palace people here today have been saying they thought they played pretty well. Yes. Uh, we'll be talking to his chairman as well later on so we we'll certainly find out will what the confidence level is like I feel like a, a bit of a cad actually because we are very you know that we've been treated magnificently here at Crystal mm, Palace and we haven't even got to the uh, the first 10 minutes of the show yet but uh, they've yeah. made us feel so welcome they have. thank you so much they're entertaining us to lunch mm. we're going to be sitting with uh, the important people to, we? to watch the game okay. that's right yeah. yeah and what I don't want to do well, is be on your best behavior, uh, well I will be on my best behaviour but what I don't want to do is I want to uh, anybody to feel that I'm being you know somewhat I don't know uh, injurious to the health of Crystal Palace no. by hoping that Everton will win, well, but 
Uh, that's life. People, I'm an Everton fan. People here Everton understand that. We come yeah. here pretty much yeah. every season, and they yeah. always know that you want them to win, and it doesn't always happen, though. The, does it? the thing is, of course, I, I, you know, I do have a soft spot for Crystal Palace, because, of course, they are the nearest Premier League ground to myself. What? And Stockbroker Belt Surrey. Exactly. Yeah. I was about to say, because they are so close to well, Stockbroker Belt so Surrey, to get here it means they have a very high quality of fan. Is that right? A certain percentage of their fans mm. you'll sometimes see on match days when the game's finished and they go back home, and uh-huh. I've been in some very, very very nice towns down in Stockbroker Belt, Walton on Thames, places like that. And the Palace fans are coming home. They are very high quality fans. Right. You know, there's some. Is some... this part of your snobbish hey? new outlook on life then? Well, I don't have a snobbish new outlook on life, but seeing as you accused me once of calling all Millwall fans, you know, sort of uh, the great unwashed, which yeah. I never did, I, I wouldn't refer well, to anybody like that. Well, you did say like they should that. move off to North Kent. Well, I just said it's an opportunity, that was all. We're not going to drag up that old argument anymore. And I got a hell of a lot of abuse from people because yes, you, you misrepresented did. me. Yes, you did. But all I would say is that there is a very high quality of fan around here at Palace and we'll meet a lot of them today, I hope we, we do will. And, uh, and I have to say it's going to be a thrilling game in these sort of temperatures you've got to remember Mike that the thing that the players have really got to look after and look for are those muscle strains. Yes. You get a groin strain at minus two, mm. it can be more difficult than a groin strain so at plus two. So why you were walking two. a bit strangely on the way into the stadium? No, it? I wasn't walking well, straight. I thought you were. No, it took your ages to get the no. band, the security band on your wrist as well. What was that all about? Well. You had to get producer Catherine to help you to actually put it on there. Yeah, well, not in the end. I mean, these things are... Shocking. They are designed to fox you. Yeah. Uh, but it didn't fox me in the end. It looks uh, Now, there's lots of other things to talk about as well. Certainly We've got a new leader of the free world. So yeah. Yesterday, yes. you know, Donald Trump has taken over the White House. Absolutely. With what looks like the cast of the Jersey Shore. Yeah. So I'm with yeah. you to talk to you about that. As yeah, well. yeah, definitely. Did you see the pictures of Bill Clinton and uh, and Hillary? I did. Hillary, the woman who Hillary seen... with a very fixed smile on her face. It was, she saw the prize of a lifetime. Well, at least she turned up though. Yeah. People I, 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 really I, I, I got it. At least she, she saw... had the cojones to actually show up. She saw the prize of a lifetime. Steve, I mean, it's a bit he, no, he was uh, he was quite a robust sort of a well, bloke when he was president. He used to go out and play golf and all that. Well, but he had a theory about that that something was removed from him. Yeah. Uh, which she put away to keep uh, safekeeping, which she was never going to be able to use again. Uh, you can't talk about it as a family no, show. No, no, but there is a no. great piece of video, by the way, of yes. Bill and his wandering eyes. Ah, He's standing that. behind Hillary. I and know. He appears to be yeah. peering over uh, yeah. towards Ivanka Trump. Sure. And uh, she catches him out. Sure. Uh, and he starts looking a bit sheepish. Yes, that's right. A bit unfortunate, uh, uh, that. Yeah, a, a little bit unfortunate. But mm. uh, Bill, of course, who was my friend. And, uh, so keep saying. Well, I would still... There's no point being friends with him now. No, it's not. I mean, no, not I agree. Is he no longer the president. No, I agree. His party's no longer in control. I agree. I totally agree. Yeah. Uh, anyway, over the next two hours, we're going to bring the full flavour of the game here. As you're quite rightly so, we've got loads of people here at Crystal Palace who are going to come on and, and, also, and guest with us on before, the show. Before the Everton game, of course, Liverpool yes. are kicking off at half past 12 against Swansea. They certainly are. Yeah, people got very confused this morning because yeah. I put out a, 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 a tweet that said, you know, yeah. our people seem to think they're not going to go second. Yeah. Of course they're going to go second. Well, I, I imagine they would. Paul Clements, who's the new Swansea boss, right? right. I've fallen out with him already. Have you? Now, people said that you we gave... the time, by the way. Don't worry about We're the time. Don't worry about the time. People said that we gave uh, Bobcat Bob a hard time. Yeah, you did I give him a hard time. I got you now, boy! Well, I mean, Paul Clements not any better. No, but I'm saying that Paul Clements has disrespected uh-huh. Bobcat Bob, who's now. a favourite of ours. Right. He said... Of course, he said, I've looked at the team and they're not fit. Yeah. He's accusing Bobcat Bob yeah. of not getting his boys no, fit. I thought Bobcat Bob said, you yeah. boys are going to be fit. Also, guess what fit else is Fit as a butcher's game. dog. Guess what else? No, they don't say that in America. No. Fit as a butcher's <laughs> well, dog. Well, guess who else is playing early today? Who? Uh, who are you? Who are the you? Game, QPR Fulham. We'll be talking about Mr. <laughs> uh, Onion Holloway yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. Onion Edge, this yeah. is Talk Sport. Are we are the two mics. We're live from Selhurst Park. No other 